Hello friends, welcome to your own YouTube channel Achievers Data Engineering. This is Gyanind and this is part 2 of Azure Data Factory tutorial series. In this video, we are going to create our own Azure Data Factory so that we can follow along with that Azure Data Factory in this tutorial. So let's get started. So now if you haven't registered with Azure as of now and you are going to register with Azure for the very first time, you can use this free account service provided by Azure for the learning. You will get some popular services free for up to 12 months. However, this trial account is going to be limited for 30 days only and you will get around $200 as a credit that you can use and you can you know create a lot of services into it and perform your poc do learnings and so many things now again as i mentioned it's a free trial and limited for 30 days if you want to register for this free account you can come on this link that says azure.microsoft.com and click on this start free option and you will be able to register uh, it is worth mentioning that it will ask for your credit card, but it's not going to charge anything. It will just ask for it so that once your free trial is going to end and still you are using any services, then it will charge. So if you don't want to continue with a free trial and uh, once your free days, like 30 days are end, you can definitely close your account so that you will not be charged with any uh, you know costs. Now, having said that, if you are already registered uh, on this free account, what you can do, you can log in. Now, once you are logged in on the Azure portal, you can come on this portal.azure.com to log in on the Azure portal. And for the first time when you will log in, you will see this kind of a screen. Now, uh, this Azure services that you see on the top, it might vary depending upon if you are already using an existing account. You might see some apps already opened here. You might see some additional resource over here. It will show some resources that you might have used if you are using some other account. All right. While you are on this page, uh, in order to create Azure Data Factory, either you can click directly this Azure Data Factory shortcut link and click on create or alternatively, you can uh, search for Data Factory here. The moment you will type uh, data or data factories, you will see this, uh, just click on and open Azure Data Factory. Now, in case you are using any account where there are some already data factories created, you will see that list of Azure Data Factories here. If not, then you can click on Create. Now, the moment you will click on Create, it will load for a second and then it will open up a form. All right. Now you can see it is asking for a couple of details which we need to you know give or provide to Azure in order to create a uh, Azure Data Factory. So the first option says subscription and right now because I'm using a free account it says free trial. In case you are using an existing or pay as you go account you will see that subscription name here. Now second thing is resource group. Now resource group is nothing but grouping all the resources that you are going to create. So let's say you are working with uh, two different projects and all the resources that you are creating for project one you want to group them inside a resource group and uh, any service that you are creating for another project you want to group them in project two so accordingly you can define a resource group here uh, for example i have created one that says rgade uh, alternatively you can click on create new and create a resource group so a scope of this resource group is limited inside this subscription and whenever you will create any resource, you will be able to tag or select the existing resource group if there is any. All right. The next option is name. Now here we need to provide a name to our Azure Data Factory. So let's say if I am saying ADE Demo Data Factory. And if that name is available, then it will show a tick mark. Alternatively, it will say this name is not available. So you can just switch around and uh, type for a name which is available. Now region that says uh, by default it's East US. I have option to select any region. So let's say if I am making this from India and I want this Azure Data Factory to be the nearest in my location, then I'll maybe pick Central India. Version by default is V2. That is the latest Azure Data Factory version. Back to next. Now here, if we have a Git uh, configuration, then we can provide it here. For now, I'm just going to click next. Networking. I'll leave these options for default as of now. Um, I'll explain it later on. Advance again, I will leave it by default. Tax. Tax again, it's a way of tracking resources. So, for example, as I mentioned in the beginning, I'm creating some resources for project one versus project two. And I want to you know look for any uh, particular service that I created. 
by tagging it here it's work work like an hashtag so whatever tags i will be providing here i will be able to track these services by searching those tags so i'll just leave it as a blank as of now and finally i'll just uh, click on create and it will just process the details and let's wait while deployment is in progress all right now we can see your deployment is completed that means our azure data factory is completed we can click on this option that says go to resource the moment you will click on go to resource azure will navigate us to the azure data factory that we just created you can see it by if you see on this overview page you will be able to see the exact name and the location and all the details that we passed while creating this azure data factory so that means our first Azure Data Factory is created. In our next video, we will talk about what is this Azure Data Factory Studio and what does all these options available here means. I hope you like the content. Please hit the like button and do subscribe to my YouTube channel to stay up to date on any latest video that I upload. Thank you for watching. Keep learning. Have a great day.